Sephora has launched new value sets for spring and summer and I thought we could break them down together. I love doing this with you guys and going over what I feel are some more tempting sets that come out from Sephora. Sometimes they can be really great deals and sometimes they can be regret purchases. So I love breaking them down, seeing what the value is. On top of that, I wanted to get this video out because these sets kind of sell out fast and we do have the Sephora sale coming up. Anyway, let's just get into the sets. Let's see if there's some value there. Let's see if any of these are good enough to purchase. I'm gonna start with what I feel like is the good news or one of the better sets I think and the one that caught my eye probably the most so this is the Sephora favorites clean me up kit it's $35 for 120 value so I really love seeing how high that value is for the price 35 is definitely on the more affordable side for things at Sephora you know how it can get and you're getting six different items in here in here you're getting an eyeliner from Colfi. this is the full size and it's also a brown color I feel like that's super trendy right now those eyeliners retail for $20 on their own um, and again it's full size so that's that full full value in there. This is a twist up, so I tend to prefer a pencil liner. This is like a personal thing for me, so that's something to consider, but I feel like this is also offering a lot of value because it's waterproof going into summer, and also I feel like eyeliner is a very used product when you're doing your makeup, no matter kind of how little or not you're probably doing, so I feel like there's definitely some good value there. Next, there's a mini size of the Youth to the People Superfood Air Whip Lightweight Face Moisturizer with Hyaluronic Acid. I've never tried this. I do tend to love moisturizers and serums with hyaluronic acid so um, I feel like that would be a nice little sample size to try out and also if you're doing any traveling this summer anything like that it could be nice but that one is still just a mini next from lawless there's the forget the filler lip plumper and this one's in the shade velvet and this is a full size these are very popular products from lawless I want to say it's one of their best sellers like I said this is a full size $26 is what it retails for and velvet I believe is one of the newer shades this is described as a rosy mauve with plummy undertones and I I feel like this is adding a lot of value. It's a hot product. It's something that's a hero product from a brand in a new color, which is nice in case you already have a couple of these. So I really love that one in here. Next from Tower 28, there's the Make Waves Mascara, and this one's in the brown color, and this is also full size. I believe that retails for $20 on its own. I love that it's the brown one because I feel like brown mascara is definitely trending right now, and I really do like the Make Waves Mascara. I have been using the Cali Ray one recently, and I do love that that one does not transfer at all. I can get a little smudging with the Make Waves, but I love the way it makes my lashes look. I love the black one. I love the brown color as well. The brown specifically is a darker brown, so it's not super warm necessarily. It's just the slightest bit less harsh than the black. So I think that's an amazing value in here. Then from Amika, the Dream Routine Overnight Hydrating Hair Mask is in here. That's just a deluxe size. And then there is the Say Mini Glowy Super Gel Lightweight Dewy Highlighter in Sun Glow. And that's also a mini, but I feel like this this mini specifically has quite a few uses on it and I feel like this product is one that I hear a lot of people like. It's not necessarily my personal favorite, but I know it is a love product overall, I would say. So I think this one has some pretty good value to it. If these are products you were thinking about trying, if these are products you had your eye on, it might be worth it. And depending if it's around for the sale, you know, you could save even more money on it by adding that discount when the sale happens, which I will be doing a video for the sale. I'm working on that, so that will be coming. But I think this set has a lot of potential and probably will be one of the ones that sells out faster, I'm assuming, because I feel like that one has some good value. Next, let's talk about this Sephora Favorites Clean Hair Care Besties Kit. This retails for $39, has a $106 value, so it's a little bit more for a little less value, but still pretty good overall. I haven't quite looked at this one yet, so I'm doing it live with you. <laughs> it says it's for straight, wavy, curly, and coily hair. Hair, so it's for all hair types. There's like a mix of products in here. It feels like kind of a big sampling in here. So first we have the Day 3-in-1 Styling Cream. This is a five ounce. Next from Amika is the Perk Up Plus Extended Clean Dry Shampoo. This is a 0.75 ounce or a 28 mil. So definitely a smaller size on that. I do really like that dry shampoo though. It's a pretty nice one. From Ceremonia, the Papaya Scalp Scrubs in here. That is a one ounce product. There's a mini of the Crown Affair leave-in conditioner. This is a half ounce from Fable in Maine. There is the Maha Maine Smooth and Shine Hair Oil. That one's pretty small at five mil. From Jisoo, there is the Honey Infused Hair Oil. I feel like the Jisoo stuff is so popular online, but this is quite a small sample. It's three mil. Like, it's tiny. Okay, this baby's a tiny little thing. Sometimes you don't need a ton of hair oil, but that does feel especially small. From JVN Hair, there is the Complete Pre-Wash Scalp Oil. That is five mil. Then we have some stuff from Living Proof. There's the full shampoo and the full conditioner. Both of those are one 
ounce. Those maybe could be good for traveling, maybe. From Necessaire, they also have a shampoo in there and that's another one ounce product. From The Rudest, the Bio Brew Fermented Strengthening Serum is in here. That's 10 mil or 0.34 ounces. I know I keep going back from milliliters and ounces. Sorry if it's a little bit confusing, but last in here from Vegamore, it's the Hydrate Deep Moisture Repair Mask and that is 0.75 ounces or 22 mil. So lots of sample sizes in here. The first product I read off though, the Day 3-in-1 Styling Cream, that is a full size product. So that's the only one. So I don't know about this one. I feel like it's a good sampling of a lot of different types of hair products out there, but I also feel like because it's going to cater to a bunch of different hair types, that potentially there might be products that just completely don't work for you. And I just don't know if this has the best value. I think maybe smaller, more curated bundles could have been better for different hair types and textures maybe, but um, I don't know about that one. That one doesn't tempt me. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Do you feel like it's a good value? The Day Styling Cream on its own retails for $30. So if you know you love that product, it might be worth the extra nine bucks to try out some other samples, especially again, if you're shopping during the sale, I feel like that could kind of turn the tables on it, um, especially if you're really into hair products, you're wanting to try some stuff. But if you don't know if you like that styling cream or maybe you don't use a styling cream very often, it might not be the one or it might not have quite the value for you. Let's get into some lash stashes because I do traditionally kind of like these, but I don't know how I feel about both of these. There's two different ones. I think one of them for sure is new. And then the other one, I can't tell if it's new, but it looks very springy and it's available still. So I thought we could break it down and talk about it. So first here, the Summer Lash Stash Mascara Set with Voucher. So if you don't know about these different sets, with these lash sets specifically, you get a bunch of sample mascaras, so you get to try them out. Um, and in this case, it's $28 and there's five different mini mascaras in here so you get to try them all out and a lot of the times mini mascaras can last you a while. Some are very small but some of them are the size of the mini you might even buy at Sephora. So that alone I feel like has some decent value just the five but then you get a voucher that you can redeem for your favorite one in the full size which I think just adds a lot of value. A lot of the time you're not really gonna lose money on this set and instead you're gonna get to try a lot of different mascaras. So for this one you're getting the choice of the Rare Beauty Volumizing Mascara in black the Benefit Mascara Mini Roller Lash, also in black. The Too Faced Better Than Sex in black. The Tarte Tartlet Tubing Mascara in black. And then last, the Milk Makeup Kush High Volumizing Mascara in the deluxe size. So, you know, I know the Too Faced Better Than Sex is a very popular one. Like it's been around, people like love it or hate it. I'm not a fan of it, but I know other people who really love it. So that one's great. The Tartlet Tubing one, I think is nice that it's in here. For price, just to break that down a little bit. The Too Faced, the Benefit one and the Milk makeup one are all either $29 or $28. So pretty much a wash. But if you're really looking forward to that rare beauty one, maybe you know you love it and you aren't that interested in trying the other ones. If you're just thinking it's going to be a deal, the rare beauty retails for 20 on its own. So you definitely can save some money and just buy the rare beauty one if that's what you're looking for. And as for the Tarte one, it retails for 27 full size. So it's a dollar more, but again, you're getting all those minis to try out. And I think there's definitely value there. Mascara is a product I think a lot of us use, even if we're not doing a full face. I would have loved to see some waterproof ones in here just because it's for summer. I think that would have added a lot of value too. But overall, I think it's a pretty good one if there's some mascaras in there that you already know you like or you're totally willing to just try some new ones out. The other Sephora favorites that I saw is the Mini Lash Stash To Go. I, again, maybe this one's a little bit older. So if I've talked about this before, forgive me, but there are some springy flowers on this packaging. And I thought, again, since it's in stock with the sale coming up, all of that, I thought I would talk about it. So this one has the Ilia Limitless Lash Lengthening Clean Mascara in Midnight Black. It has a mini of the Milk Makeup Rise Lifting and Lengthening Mascara. That one's also in black. I think all of these are in black. If it's not in black, I will say it, but I think all of these are in black. Again, we're seeing the Too Faced Better Than Sex. There is the Benefit Cosmetics, but instead of the Roller Lash, this one has the Bad Gal Bang in it. And then again, we're seeing that Rare Beauty Mascara. So again, if you're really looking for the Rare Beauty, might not be the best value specifically for that one, but but I still feel like all those minis add enough value that even if the Rare Beauty was the one you liked the most out of there, by trying all those, all the uses you're actually getting, I think it could still make up for that price difference, to be honest. So I think both the mini lash stashes could be a good value. I would have loved to see some maybe new mascaras. I would have loved to see the Kelly Ray in one of these, maybe something like that. But you know, mascara is so personal. What works for us all is so different, I feel like. Like I can talk to people and their favorite is like my most hated mascara, okay? So I think these definitely have some good value. 
just remember not to throw away the voucher, okay? Do not just like rip open that packaging, throw everything away, keep the voucher so that way you can redeem and get your full size because I've accidentally thrown that away before in the past and it sucked. I mean, again, still some value there, but <laughs> I want that full size mascara. I want you to get that full size mascara, you know? So don't throw that away. All right, let's finish out these Sephora sets. We're gonna move on to some perfume sets. You know, in the past, I've really loved these and I do think that these have a place and you know, we're gonna talk about perfume for a second. So if you love that, go check out my perfume channel because I do have a channel entirely dedicated to fragrance. If you're interested in all things scent, definitely go check it out over there. It's just Lauren May Fragrance. But I wanna break these down a bit, especially the Sephora Favorites Deluxe Best Selling Mini Perfume Sampler Set. This retails for $90. It's $159 value. And this one's a little bit different than ones in the past. I've seen these a little bit, but it's deluxe sizes. So instead of just two mil, basically those normal sample sizes you get free with purchase, gift with purchase, type of things these are a little bit bigger so they can be like five mil three mil the mini bottles all of that and I do think that's adding some extra value um, but this is I think a bit high $90 I've seen these sets go for 68 75 and we're at the $90 mark so I think if you're giving these as gifts they're almost always worth it because you get to give this gift it's kind of like the mini lash stash where you buy this you get to test out all these different perfumes specifically in this set you get seven different perfumes to test out and then you have a voucher to go redeem for a larger size. Not always the biggest size, but a larger size of that perfume. And so I feel like as a gift, you know, it's a win-win in that you get to gift a perfume, they get to test out what they want and pick the perfume that best suits them. But if you're buying this specifically for value, specifically for yourself, even with the sale, I don't know, I definitely think be strategic about it, okay? Let's break this down. These are the options in here. One, Burberry Goddess, which I love this perfume. I was so happy to see this one in the set because it smells so, so good good. It's one of my favorite designer perfumes that came out last year. I have the full size of this. I love it. If you're a vanilla lover, I would definitely check it out. It has notes of vanilla, lavender, ginger, and cacao. And you get to redeem this for the one ounce if you pick this one. And that retails for $105. So there's definitely a savings there. If Burberry Goddess was on your list, this might be a good way to get it at a discount. And again, if you're going to shop the sale, you could save even a little bit more in this set. So I think if Burberry Goddess is the one you want to pick, it's a good deal. Next by Rosie Jane's Lila Lou is in here. This is described as a fruity floral. It has notes of pear, jasmine, and fresh cut grass. So this one isn't one of my personal faves, but I do think it's one that sells really well for the brand. You get to redeem for a 1.7 ounce and that retails for $75, okay? So if you know this is the one you want from this set, it's not worth it. I mean, you're paying $15 more. Yes, you get all the little mini samples. Maybe that's worth it to you, but just know that. Know that that's what's worth it to you. If that's the one you're gunning for, I really feel like with these sets also, it's really important to, maybe have a few again if you're buying it for yourself if it's a gift it's a totally different thing but if you're buying it for yourself and you're not in an exploratory mood or maybe you're very specific with your fragrances I think it's good to kind of have a few you know you like before getting this so that way you can be safe and you're not smelling like things you don't want to smell like all right next Carolina Herrera's good girl is in here this is described as a warm floral notes of tuberose jasmine and tonka bean you get to redeem for a one ounce of this and that retails for $86 so again another one that's under the value of the deluxe sampler in general. So just something to keep in mind. Again, maybe it's worth it for you, but I like these for the value. I scan these so that I can save a little bit of money on the perfume on top of getting to sample a bunch of stuff. So that's where I'm coming from looking at this set. Next, Gucci Bloom is in here. I feel like Gucci Bloom is always in here and I am not a Gucci Bloom girl, okay? <laughs> it's very floral. It's described as a classic floral and they mean it when they say classic, okay? Notes in here, Rangoon Creeper, Jasmine and Tuberose. And you get to redeem for the one ounce, which is $105. So it's a good deal. If you love Gucci Bloom, I do think it's a good deal to get to redeem for that. The best one to redeem for, if you want the highest value for the price you're paying, is the Juliet Has a Gun. This is the Juliet Has a Gun, not a perfume scent, which is a skin scent. It's described as warm and sheer. It has basically one note in here. It's called Cetalox, which is a synthetic form of ambergris, which is like a musky, ambery kind of scent. It smells really good. It's one of those no perfume perfumes if you're into skin scents that kind of have a nice like sillage or um, sillage means like scent trail. So if you like those perfumes where someone 
walks by you and you're just like, what is that? But it kind of just smells like nothing you can quite put your finger on. That one's pretty good. I will say though, if that's the one you really, really want, none of the other perfumes even matter to you. You're just trying to save some money on that. You can find that at other places on discount. So just saying, you know, but that one is the best deal in here. You get to redeem for the full size 3.3 ounce. That's the hundred mil. That's the big size usually of perfume, unless you're getting like a value size and something. And that retails for $145 on its own. Finishing it out here, we can do this. Nest Lychee Rose is in here. This is one of their newer fragrances and it has notes of rose, lychee, and champagne. It's a fruity floral and you get to redeem for the 1.7 ounce, which is $92. So it's right at the threshold. If this was something you were looking at and you wanna try all those other fragrances, I think it's kind of a wash. And then last in here, Fleur Missing Person. This is such a viral hit. This is such a popular fragrance. So I'm glad it's in here because I'm sure there are people who are gonna wanna try this one out. This is described as another one of those warm, sheer skin scent kind of fragrances. It has notes of skin musk, bergamot, and blonde wood. It smells really good. It lasts so well. I really love the scent. And you get to redeem for the full size. Fleur just makes all their perfumes in a 1.7 ounce and they retail for $99. So you are saving a bit of money on that one as well. That all being said, is it worth it? Only you can decide, okay? I don't know if this one's worth it just because I already have some of these fragrances. If you're looking at Burberry Goddess and you want to try the other things, it could be a good one, but I feel like Burberry Goddess is already so expensive and you're paying so much for that one ounce. If you know you love it, I would say go for the big bottle and get it on sale, whether it's during the Sephora sale or any other time you can find that one on sale. Just like go for the most juice because that's really the best value you can get when it comes to perfume. The smaller you buy it, the more you're paying per ounce. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of that one. I was a little like, mm, I wish it was either cheaper. I wish there were maybe more options to redeem or at least that all the redemption options were the price of $90. Cause some of these you will literally lose money. Like, I don't know about that. I don't know how I feel about that. Actually I do, I don't like it. <laughs> I really don't like that. Okay, there is a men's sampler set and I'm gonna briefly cover this because I feel like it's a way better value. Again, $90, you aren't getting deluxe sizes, but there are a lot more options in it. So instead of the seven, there are 12 different perfumes to pick from. You're only getting the two mil, but still I think that that's nice. Also looking through it, I feel like you get to redeem for better sizes. There's only one that's a one ounce and that's the only one that's under value. And it's the Mason Margiela Replica Jazz Club scent. So if that's the one you're looking for from this whole set, maybe not the best value there. The one ounce retails for 85, so you're paying $5 more for the whole set. But for everything else, it's 1.6 ounces and higher. Some of them even are full sizes. There's a few full size ones in here. Commodity Moss, that's a really good option. And one of the ones with the highest value, I think that one retails full size for $145. You could get a full size of Victor and Rolf Spice Balm Night Vision, as well as Aqua Di Gio from Armani. So I feel like the men's one is a better value and just more options, to be honest. So it could be something to into. There's also a scent from Fleur in here. If you were interested in somebody would, that is in the men's scent. And I feel like it's just unisex, you know, so maybe one to check out. But the other perfume sampler set I wanted to talk about, this one is more of a travel set. So it retails for $30, a way more approachable price point. And this is similar to the Lash Stash as well, where you get to redeem. So this has a $56 value. There are eight different two mil samples that you get to try out in here. And then again, you get to redeem for the full size for whichever one. And this one I feel torn on. I feel like the $30 is a pretty good price. I mean, roller balls and travel sizes have just gone up. A lot of them retail for 35 now. I remember back in the day when a travel size was 20, but those days are no longer. I'm sorry to say, I'm really sorry to say. So the breakdown of the fragrances in here, there's the Armani Aqua de Joya. This is like an aquatic scent. It's like lemon, cedarwood, peony, brown sugar, mint, very fresh smelling. And the travel size of that retails for 35. So I feel like that's a good value if you want to redeem for that. From Jo Malone, they have wood, sage, and sea salt in here. This is a very popular one. It retails for 30, so it's kind of a wash. There's a Juliet has a gun scent in here. This is the Lust for Sun, and this is described as a fresh solar scent, and you're gonna see this as a trend in here. I will say, if you're not into those kind of white floral, sunscreeny, coconut, musky, vanilla kind of scents, there's a lot of those options in here. So there might be a lot that are a no for you. Yes, they're different. Every little one's a little bit different, but there are a lot of that specific scent profile in this vacation scent, which makes sense for summer, but also they're very similar. <laughs> so just warning, you're gonna see a lot of fresh solar, but uh, the Juliet has a gun retails for $30 for a 7.5 mil. Most travel sizes are 10 mil, but 
That one is a little bit smaller for their travel. From Mesa Margiela's replica line, Beach Walk is in here. This is kind of a classic summer scent. It is another fresh solar with bergamot, heliotrope, coconut milk, and it retails for 35, so that one's a pretty good value. From Net, Coco Fleur is in here, another fresh solar. We have bergamot, orange flower, and coconut milk. Another one with coconut milk in it, and that one retails for 30, so again, a wash. From Skylar, their Coconut Cove scent is in here. This is another fresh solar with bergamot, coconut, and Ambrox. I feel like this one's a little bit more on the musky side than it is like the creamy coconutty side, at least to me. So as much as it's a fresh solar, it's one of my favorites, I guess. But I feel like in general, this category of scent isn't always my favorite. Like, I don't know. I feel like it's festive for summer, but it's not always a me scent, if you know what I mean. So anyway, this retails for $30, but I do want to note that the Skylar travel sizes are roller balls instead of sprays. So if you hate a roller ball, you're not going to want to go with that option. From Valentino, the Donna Born and Roma Coral Fantasy is in here. This is a fruity floral with orange, jasmine, and rose. It's $35, so a good value. And then last from Victor and Rolf, the Flower Bomb Tiger Lily, which is one of the newest scents I feel like in here. This came out this year. It's a flanker of Flower Bomb. And this is also described as a fresh solar scent. So there's coconut milk, tiger lily, and mango. It's definitely that same kind of creamy, sunscreen, white floral kind of scent to me. But this one, the travel size retails for 38. So it's a little bit better of a value if that was one you were looking for because it's the new one. This set could be a great way to save some money on it specifically. But overall, I feel like this one isn't as egregious in terms of like losing value. So I feel like if any of these were ones you wanted to try or you just want to sample all of these, it could be a good value. And again, pairing that with a sale, you're just going to save more money on it. So those are all the Sephora sets. I really wanted to break those down because I feel like, again, they sell out, the sales coming up, and I love breaking down the value and really getting into it and figuring out if it's going to be right for you. Sometimes they're great and you can save some money and try out some stuff, especially with that first one. I'm telling you, I think that one's the best one. But there are a couple other sets from brands that I thought Thought I would just mention because of summer. So from Supergoop, this is the All Day Glow SPF set. I feel like if you're looking for some SPF, maybe you haven't tried Supergoop, or maybe you know you do like Supergoop, but you want some extra products, maybe this is something. It's $44, a $70 value. You're getting three different products, the Glow Screen SPF in Sunrise. That's the one I really like. You're getting the Glow Stick SPF 50 in the full size. That alone retails for $30. So, you know, that's adding some value there. And then there's a mini of the Glow oil in a one ounce, um, which is also SPF 50. So um, I think that could be something if you know you like those products or are wanting to try some super goop products. I wanted to mention this one from Cali Ray. As I mentioned, I've really been loving the Come Hell or High Water volumizing and lengthening tubing mascara. It's what I'm wearing today. I've been wearing it like every single day. And this is one of those sets where you get two of them for a discounted price. So $32, a $48 value because these retail for 24 on their own. So I feel like it could save you some money. And again, and if you're buying during the sale, you could really get a discount on this product specifically. So I just wanted to shout that one out. There's a set here from Day and it's the mini hair tune-up toolbox set. I really wanted to shout this one out because I saw that it had a mini of the new dry shampoo that they came out with. It's called like the Fairy Duster. Let me read it to you. It's the Fairy Duster dry shampoo. This is a mini 0.63 ounces, 18 grams. But I wanted to mention this because I did buy that product. It just came out and I'm always hopeful for a new dry shampoo. You guys know I love the Batiste, but I feel like I go through it really fast. I don't know, I've heard some things about lawsuits. I'm just trying to like, maybe not and I've used it all the time so I really am like maybe I could try something else on top of again it's just kind of expensive and I go through it so I was like let me give this one a try and I've been loving it I've really really been enjoying it so I love that this has a mini in it if you wanted to try it out the full size of that dry shampoo retails for 30 and this whole set is $50 it's a $72 value but there's other things in here as well so the other products in here you're getting the signature shampoo and conditioner in mini sizes and then there's also the 1.7 ounce of the three-in-one styling cream, which we talked about earlier in the video, and that's just a mini. And then you're also getting a crate. I guess all this is packaged in kind of a crate instead of like a makeup bag. So there's that as well, but I don't know, maybe not the best value overall, but if you were wanting to try that, maybe wanting to try some other day products, it could be something again, also with the sale, but I just wanted to say, I've been loving that dry shampoo and it's been working out really well for me. I do have to like work it in and it doesn't like leave maybe the most even spray, 
but I feel like I'm not gonna go through it nearly as fast. And if I give it some time to soak in, I really do feel like it adds a little bit of volume to my hair as well, while still having it have bounce and not being like volumized in a way that makes it kind of stiff. So I really wanted to mention that one. And then I think the last set I wanted to talk about, this one's from Drunk Elephant and it's the Itty Bitty Midi Committee Serum Trio. This is $79 for a $99 value. I don't know if that's the most value. I'm not a Drunk Elephant girl. I really haven't tried a ton from the brand to be honest. In here, there's three different products with 15 mil each or half an ounce each. So there's the C Firma Fresh Day Serum. There's the B Hydra Intensive Hydrating Serum. And then the TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum in here. I don't know, maybe it's a good introduction to the brand or maybe travel sizes. I'm not really sure. I feel like that one's still kind of expensive, but I also know that Drunk Elephant is just expensive. So let me know if you think that's a good set if you use a lot of Drunk Elephant. But those are all the new sets at Sephora. I hope you enjoyed breaking them down with me. I'd love to know what you think is worth it. Are you thinking about picking any of these up? Let me know your thoughts. But other than that, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.